Google has its eye on the future, not just on wearable technology like Google Glass, but on everything from smartphones to how you drive your car. And here with a look at the search giant's search for the next hot new product is Bridget Carrier, senior editor for CNET.com. Bridget, welcome. Hey, good morning. You have brought some really cool stuff to show us today. Let's start off with this contact lens, which I've read people say this is leveraging tech to manage human diseases. Okay, so they're getting into healthcare with smart contact lenses. So imagine diabetics don't have to prick their finger anymore to check their blood sugar. They can use a contact lens with a sensor in it to be able to test the blood sugar levels in their tears. So that's wow. some wild stuff right How there. How far away is this, Bridget? Not that far away. They're looking at making prototypes that can come out by early next year. The sensors in these are so thin, they're thinner than a human hair. They have another project going on called Ara, which involves cell phones and at prices that are kind of mind-blowingly low. I'm most excited about this project. It's a modular smartphone, and what that means is you can take the pieces in and out based on what you want to upgrade instead of having to buy a whole new phone again. So if you just want to get a new camera, pop your camera off right. and pop a new square of your camera in there. Same with memory. Think of it like a car. If something goes bad, just replace the one part that went bad. And it could be $50. They're going to look at seeing this come out maybe next year. It'll be interesting to see where they take it. So basically, it just gives you the opportunity to customize everything. If you're a photographer, you can get a, pick a better camera. If you want to do something with the voice response, you could pick a better ability to pick up your voice. Yeah, just snap what you want in and out based on what your needs are. Are it's they talking about $50 for the whole phone, Bridget, or just the pieces? You know, I imagine that the more accessories you buy, it'll add on from there because right. it'll be custom looks and designs and we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, I'm not buying a $50 price tag either. Let's talk about Google Loon. What is that one? Okay, so there are billions of people who do not have access to the internet in developing countries. And so what Google's looking at is how can we bring internet to, to these people instead of having to dig up and lay cables down, what if we had internet in the sky by putting them in balloons that float in our stratosphere? So they just started uh, the first test of this last year, and they're looking at a fleet of balloons that float above. And so you can get your internet access from above, and it just floats around the Earth. Uh, that's, that's something that's just interesting that they can like do something like that and increase maybe their customer base. If you think of the long term, of course, people who are using these balloons would sure. be Google customers. Yeah, it looks like solar, sort of solar panels kind of on, on the basket itself. Of the exactly. Balloon. They're right. powered by solar panels. Fascinating stuff. Bridget Carey, thanks so much.